Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on how to use Thunderbird. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add the Thunderbird shortcut to the launcher, tag messages, quick filter, sort and thread messages. We will also learn to save as and print messages, attach a file, archive messages, view the activity manager. Here we are using Mozilla Thunderbird 13.0.1 on Ubuntu 12.04. As we access Thunderbird quite often, let's create a shortcut icon for it. Let's drag and drop the Thunderbird shortcut icon onto the launcher. First, click Dash Home. In the search field that appears, type Thunderbird. The Thunderbird icon appears under the search field. Select it and do not release the left mouse button. Now drag and drop the icon to the launcher and release the left mouse button. Click Dash Home to close it. Click on the Thunderbird icon in the launcher. The Thunderbird window opens. Under scuser1 at gmail.com ID, Click Inbox. Notice that some messages are in bold. These are the unread messages. Click the Get Mail icon and select Get All New Messages. We have received messages from the Gmail account. Let's say we want to sort these messages by sender. Simply click on the column heading From. The messages are now sorted in an alphabetical order. Let's click on From once again. The messages are sorted in the reverse alphabetical order now. Now let's sort by subject. Simply click on Subject. The messages are sorted by subject now. Pause this tutorial and try out this assignment. Sort the messages by date received. You can also tag messages. This way you can easily identify messages you want to open again. You can also use tags to group similar messages together. Let's say you want to tag a mail as important. Click on Inbox, select the first mail. Click the tag icon from the toolbar and select Important. Notice that the mail is displayed in the color red. Look at the bottom panel. The mail is tagged as important. To remove the tag, first select the mail. From the toolbar, click the tag icon and click important again. Let's tag the first mail in the inbox as important and the second mail as work. Suppose we want to view only the mails that have been tagged in the right panel. Would it be possible to do this? You can use the Quick Filter toolbar to quickly filter and view messages. To view messages that are tagged from the Quick Filter toolbar, click on the icon Tagged. Only the messages that we tagged are displayed. Let's click on the icon Tagged again. We can view all the mails now. Let's learn about message threads now. What are message threads? Related messages that are displayed in a sequence or as a conversation are called message threads. We use message threads to view related messages as one entire conversation in a continuous flow. Let us now learn how to do this. Click on the Click to Display Message Threads icon in the left corner of the inbox. The mails are displayed as a conversation. To view the full conversation, click on the threading symbol present next to the corresponding thread. The entire conversation is visible in the Message Preview panel. To come out of the thread view, simply click on the thread icon again. Let us now learn how to save a mail to a folder and then print it. For the purposes of this tutorial, we have created a new folder on the desktop and named it Saved Mails. 
Let's select and save the first mail. Double click on the mail. It opens in a separate tab. From the toolbar, click File, Save As and File. The Save Message As dialog box appears. Browse for Desktop and select the folder Saved Mails. Click Save. The message is saved in the folder. Let's go to the Saved Mails folder. Double click on it and open it. The mail opens in gedit as a text file. Let's close and exit this file. You can also save the messages as a template. From the toolbar, click File, Save As and Template. The message is saved in the Templates folder in Thunderbird. From the Thunderbird left panel, click the Templates folder. Select the mail and double click. It opens in a separate tab with the To Address field filled with the contact listed in the original mail. You can now modify the content in this mail, add or delete contacts and send it. Add the number 1 in the subject. To close the template, click the X icon on the top left of the tab. The Save Message dialog box appears. Click don't save. Now let's print a message. Click on Inbox and from the right panel, select the second mail and double click on it. It opens in a new tab. From the main menu, go to File and then select Print. The print dialog box appears. We shall print this mail on an A4 sheet with orientation as portrait and make two copies of this mail. Click the Page Setup tab. In the Paper Size field, click on the drop-down list and select A4. In the Orientation field, click on the drop-down list and select Portrait. Now, click the General tab. In the Copies field, enter 2. Click Print. If your printer is configured correctly, the mail must start printing now. Let's click Cancel to exit the Print dialog box. Also, let's close the Mail tab. Now let's send a video as an attachment to the Yahoo account. Let's compose a new message. From the menu bar, click Write. The New Message window appears. In the To field, type the first letter of the Yahoo ID, that is S. Notice that the Yahoo Mail ID is automatically filled. In the Subject field, type Video Attachment. From the toolbar, click Attach. The Attach Files dialog box opens. From the desktop, select the file What is a Spoken Tutorial .rar. Click Open. The file is attached and the attachment is displayed at the top right corner. Click Send. Let's log in to our Yahoo account. We have received the message with the attachment. Let's close the Yahoo account. We may receive an important message that we want to refer to. But there may be many mails in the inbox. Therefore, it may be cluttered. Thunderbird lets you archive such messages. First, we must check the archive settings. From the left panel, click on the SD User 1 Gmail account. From the right panel, under Accounts, click View Settings for this account. The Account Settings dialog box appears. From the left panel, click on the SD User 1 Gmail account and click Copies and Folders. The Message Archives options are enabled. These options determine the folder in which the messages are archived. If these options are not enabled, then check Keep Message Archives in box. 
select the option Archives folder on sduser1 at gmail.com. Click OK. Now under the sduser1 Gmail account, click on Inbox. Let's archive the third message. From the right panel, select it. Right click for the context menu and select Archive. The message is moved to the Archives folder under the SD User 1 Gmail account. It is no longer displayed in the inbox. And what if we want to view the actions that we did using Thunderbird? This is simple too. The Activity Manager displays the list of actions carried out in Thunderbird. From the main menu, click Tools and Activity Manager. The Activity Manager dialog box appears. You can now view the list to check all email activity. Let's close the Activity Manager dialog box. Let's exit Thunderbird by clicking on the red cross in the left corner of the Thunderbird window. In this tutorial, we learned how to add the Thunderbird shortcut to the launcher, tag messages, quick filter, sort and thread messages. We also learn to save as and print messages, attach a file, archive messages, view the activity manager. Here is an assignment for you. Log in to Thunderbird. View a message thread. Save and print a message. Select an email. Right click for the context menu. Check all the options in it. View the Activity Manager dialog box. Log out of Thunderbird. Check the Activity Manager dialog box again when you log in. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.